So you're interested in moving to Surrey, but you don't exactly know where you want to go and you definitely don't want to pick the wrong neighborhood. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm going to be covering the top five neighborhoods to live in in Surrey. So stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name's Alex Dunbar and I'm a local realtor with Remax Treeland Realty and the Dunbar Real Estate Group based out of the Cloverdale Langley area. And in today's video, I'm gonna be covering the five top neighborhoods, in my opinion, that you should live in in Surrey. And just a quick disclaimer here, these are based off of my own experiences and my own opinion. So if I don't mention a neighborhood that you like or live in, please don't be offended. In my lifetime, I've personally lived in Surrey for over 25 years and I'm very familiar with each and every neighborhood. So let's get into it. Coming in at number five, we have Fraser Heights. Located in North Surrey, Fraser Heights is considered by many to be the center of the greater Vancouver community. Its boundaries are the Fraser River, Highway 1, Highway 15, and Highway 17. Fraser Heights serves as a crossroads for Vancouver and an entry point for Guilford traffic from Surrey. However, over time, the neighborhood has been developed into a manicured residential area. Fraser Heights contains many design benefits such as dozens of parks, creeks and ponds, and wide streets. From various areas in the community, residents can enjoy beautiful views of the mountains as well as the river. Overall, it's a newer neighborhood with plenty of new construction going on. It's close to Highway 1, yet tucked away and secluded, making it a highly desirable area. Because of this, it comes at a higher price point, but it's also a fantastic place to raise a family. Unfortunately, there's less restaurants and shopping than some of the other areas. However, you have to take the good with the bad. Overall, Fraser Heights is primarily made up of detached houses with very few townhomes and condos. However, there are new developments of condos and townhomes that are gonna be introduced in the near future. And at this point in time, the majority of the attached market is under 10 years old. Because of this, it can be a little bit more difficult for younger families to get into the market here as there aren't as many townhomes. And that's part of the reason it's sitting at number five. Some of the hot spots in Fraser Heights is the Fraser Heights Shopping, Nestor's Market, Fraser Heights Restaurants, Fraser Glen Pizza, and Sushi Zion. To add to that, Fraser Heights has an incredible rec center with everything you need. This includes a gym, basketball court, pickleball and tennis courts, a field, and a youth park. Additionally, Fraser Heights is home to two incredible parks, one being the Duck Pond Park and the other one being the Ridgeview Park. Because of its proximity to Highway 1, this makes it very easy to get both into Vancouver as well as the opposite direction to Abbotsford or Chilliwack. However, you are probably gonna have to be quite car dependent if you're living here. So overall, Fraser Heights is a very prestigious neighborhood in Surrey. It's somewhere you should definitely check out and that's why it comes at number five on our list. Coming in at number four, we have Fleetwood. Fleetwood is centrally located in the northern half of Surrey with Wally to the west, Newton and Cloverdale to the south, and Guilford to the east and north. It's primarily residential and it's one of the fastest growing parts of Surrey, while also being the smallest of the six major communities. Fleetwood is a place that I hold near and dear to my heart as this is where I grew up and spent over 20 years of my life. It's definitely changed since my youth, but it's an extremely diverse part of the city, home to many families and with a growing business presence. It's characterized by beautiful parks, friendly neighborhoods, and agricultural lowlands. It attracts many families due to its nearby services, countless schools, and proximity to the SkyTrain. The transit system in Fleetwood is well run and it's easy to catch a bus straight to the SkyTrain if you need to get there. Therefore, a car is not required. However, I would still suggest you have one in most cases. Fleetwood is also home to excellent sports and recreation facilities, a great community center, and some notable annual events. The Surrey Sport and Leisure Complex is definitely the highlight here and can be found along Fraser Highway. Here, you're gonna be able to find a pool, multiple arenas, a workout facility, and several studios. And located just beside the complex on one side is a skate park and on the other side is some trails. Not too far away, you can also find the Fleetwood Community Center, which is attached to the library. There is a smaller gym and gymnasium here if you're looking for something that's a little bit smaller and more relaxed than the leisure complex. In terms of housing, Fleetwood has been a major hub as of late for new developments. One of the primary reasons being is the proposed SkyTrain line that's gonna run directly through Fleetwood 
into Cloverdale and then into Langley right down Fraser Highway. So this is where the focus of these new developments have gone and it's primarily been townhomes. You won't find a ton of condos in Fleetwood, however, there are more and more being built every single year. But overall, Fleetwood is primarily made up of detached houses and townhomes. And this makes it a great spot to raise a young family. It's also home to a couple of great parks, one being Fleetwood Park itself, the other being Surrey Lake Park, and not too far away, Tynehead Park as well. One of the most beautiful parts of Fleetwood Park you can find is called Fleetwood Gardens. As you can probably assume by the name, the gardens feature a variety of different flowers and plants. You'll also be able to find a 1.8 kilometer nature loop trail, tennis courts, a basketball court, and a soccer field. Additionally, there's a playground and water park. Fleetwood is also home to a couple of great golf courses. These being Guilford Golf Course, directly across the street, Eagle Quest Golf Course, and just bordering Cloverdale is Surrey Golf Course. Recently, Eagle Quest Golf Course has actually shrank by a couple of holes because of new townhome developments going in. However, they do still have a shorter course as well as a driving range there. And to finish this one off, on a clear day when you're driving down Fraser Highway, you get some amazing views of Mount Baker. So overall, Fleetwood is a great community for families young and old and really has something to offer for everyone. Moving on at number three, we have Sullivan Station. Sullivan borders Cloverdale to its east and south, Panorama Ridge to its west, and Newton and Fleetwood to the north. Some people group Sullivan and Panorama together, calling the area Sullivan Panorama. However, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna separate the two. Now the primary reason being is that Panorama Ridge is home to larger properties and thus higher prices, at least for the detached market. Sullivan is a young, vibrant, and family-oriented community that continues to grow year after year. Although it has many amenities of its own, if required, it has easy access to its neighbor, Panorama Ridge, Cloverdale, White Rock, and the United States, and also South Surrey. In comparison to its neighbor, Panorama, Sullivan has lower prices for detached houses and townhomes, however, slightly higher for condos. It has a great variety of schools, and most of them are within walking distance to homes. Additionally, many neighborhoods have organized parent committees. These individuals work hard to make sure kids are kept safe as well as have the access and supplies they require. Sullivan is home to many parks as well as a historic community hall. You'll also be able to find plenty of green space, trails, sports fields, picnic areas, and recently improved playgrounds. In addition to that, you'll be able to find the Goldstone Water Park and not far away, Panorama Park. Both great spots that are often filled with local families for birthday parties and community events. The area is home to plenty of restaurants, both new and old. Some of my favorites being Big Ridge Brewing, New York, New York Greek food, the new Popeyes, as well as West Village Cafe. Additionally, it's home to the YMCA and several other local gyms. You'll be able to find Fresh Street Market, Choices Market, Thrifty Foods, Save On Foods, Chan's Market, and local farm markets, plus boutique shops, restaurants, medical, dental, and pet shops only minutes away. So overall, once again, a great community for young families. It's one of the few places in Surrey where you go into a townhome complex and actually notice many young families outside communicating with each other, having their kids play together and actually having a sense of community. And honestly, it's very refreshing in this day and age. And coming in at number two, we have Grandview Heights. Grandview is bordered by Hazelmere to its east, Pacific Douglas to its south, Highway 99 to its west, and Morgan Creek and Cloverdale to the north. Grandview is somewhat of a sister community to Morgan Creek, just like Panorama and Sullivan were. The reason being is that they share many of the same amenities, or at least are in close proximity. The biggest difference here being is that Morgan Creek is significantly higher priced for detached homes, whereas condos and townhomes are relatively the same. Grandview is an up and coming part of South Surrey that's still being established around new and newer commercial space. There is tons of construction going on, such as homes, schools, pools, and any other sorts of amenities. And this will likely be ongoing for years into the future. But based Basically, as it continues to grow, they have everything you need for a growing family. Now, the one downside to all that construction is that it may be an annoyance to you, both in terms of traffic delays and potentially noise dependent on where you're living. However, Grandview is actually one of the best spots to commute to Vancouver if required. And the reason being is its proximity to Highway 99. 
However, this also makes the community very car dependent. But what I will mention is there's tons of traffic both going in and coming out of the community. However, once you're within the community, it's very walkable. You're gonna be able to find everything you need such as restaurants, grocery stores, Walmart, and gyms. Additionally, the recently built Grandview Heights Aquatic Center was put in at the corner of 168th and 24th. And even more recently, the Grandview Heights Secondary School, which was put in adjacent to the Aquatic Center. In recent years, Grandview has transformed into a shopping mecca surrounded by high-density townhomes and newly built single-family homes. At the heart of Grandview Heights is the exciting shopping, entertainment, and dining district known as Grandview Corners and the shops at Morgan Crossing. This is home to over 70 retail stores including upscale fashion and accessories like H&M, Lululemon, Home Furnishing Store, Kitchen Therapy, Banks, Home Depot, London Drugs, winners and casual bistros and restaurants all provided in a unique outdoor shopping area you're also extremely close to the peace arch hospital and several medical clinics if you're someone who goes to church there's several in the area and there's also no shortage of incredible schools additionally grandview heights actually gets some quite incredible weather for the lower mainland in comparison to vancouver they actually get more sun and less rain because of the fact of their proximity to the coast mountains in fact grandview and the rest of the south surrey area have actually been shown to have 20 percent more sunshine in comparison to vancouver if you're a golfer morgan creek golf course is just around the corner and it's one of the most prestigious courses in all of the lower mainland although south surrey used to be thought of as more of an older community because of places like Grandview Heights, it's attracting more and more young families. So overall, Grandview Heights is a great spot for both young and old, both young families as well as retirees and anyone in between. And for all those reasons mentioned, that's why I put it at number two in my list. And coming in at number one in our top spot is the Cloverdale and Clayton neighborhoods. Now the reason I'm including both, I'll get to in a minute. But first of all, Cloverdale is bordered by Fleetwood and Guilford to the north, Langley to the east, South Surrey to the south, and Newton to the west. And now on to why I included both Cloverdale and Clayton, although they are both located within Cloverdale, the community itself, they can be separated into different neighborhoods. With Clayton being located on the north side of Fraser Highway and Cloverdale proper being located south. So I included both because I believe that Clayton is the best neighborhood for attached housing such as condos and townhomes, whereas Cloverdale proper is best for detached houses. Now one of the reasons being is that Clayton is more of an up and coming part of the community, whereas Cloverdale is a little bit older, however there are still new homes being built. But in Clayton for detached houses, they are primarily consist of those with basement suites and carriage houses with very few parking spots, which makes streets very tight and have very limited parking. And also most of the homes in Clayton have smaller lots and almost non-existent yards. Whereas in Cloverdale proper, you're gonna get a little bit larger lot size around 6,000 to 8,000 square feet. Additionally, there are a few great townhome and condo complexes within Cloverdale proper. However, overall, I lean towards Clayton. But whether you're in either or, the overall community is just fantastic. You're able to get that small town vibe from Cloverdale while also having the new and improving and always developing Clayton. The area is home to two great community centers, one in Cloverdale and one brand new one in Clayton and also some incredible elementary and high schools located here as well. Additionally, a campus for the Kwantlen Polytechnic University can be found in Cloverdale too. One of the biggest attractions of Cloverdale are the parks and outdoor areas. This includes places such as Cloverdale Athletic Park, Catsey Park, the off-leash dog park in Clayton, the Bill Reed Millennium Amphitheater, and a couple of incredible golf courses. The most notable being Northview Golf and Country Club, which has two courses, the Ridge and the Canal, 36 holes total, and used to be played on the PGA Tour. Cloverdale is also home to some incredible annual events. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I go into a bit more detail with them. However, there is the Clover Valley Beer Festival, Gone Country, and of course, the Cloverdale Rodeo. Cloverdale is also home to some great restaurants such as The Vault, Hawthorne Beer Market and Bistro, Umami Sushi, the Clayton Public House, and Dublin Crossing Pub. Cloverdale is centrally located between the cities of Vancouver and Abbotsford, taking about 30 minutes to get to Abbotsford and 40 minutes to get to Vancouver, respectively. Additionally, it's only about 20 minutes to the US border and 15 minutes to the Golden Ears Bridge if you're trying to get to Maple Ridge or Pitt Meadows. 
It's connected to highways 1, 15, and Fraser Highway to give you easy access in any direction. And because it borders Langley to its east, you have quick access to Willowbrook Mall, Costco, and any other sort of shopping you need. This is extremely convenient as Cloverdale doesn't necessarily have a ton of retail shopping itself. Because Langley is such an emerging city, if you do need that bigger town feel, it's only minutes away. Cloverdale is an extremely diverse community both in terms of age and ethnicity. I will mention that I did spend 5 years living there and absolutely loved it. And because of all these reasons mentioned, that's why I put it at number 1 in my list. But again, please keep in mind that all the places mentioned today are based off of my own experience and opinions, so please don't be offended if I didn't mention somewhere that you want to live. If you are interested in moving to Surrey or one of the surrounding areas, or maybe you just have more questions, I am a residential real estate agent, so if you need help in the buying or selling process, I'd be more than happy to help. I will have my contact information below. Feel free to reach out via email, text, phone call, or whatever works best for you. Additionally, you can also schedule a free introductory consultation. There will be a link below and you can schedule it through my Calendly. And that's about going to do it for today's video. So if you did get any value out of it, I would very much appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you're interested in future videos about Surrey and any of its surrounding cities and communities, I would advise that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video.